Hey everybody, Dr. Turpo here, Black America's Love Doctor. And today's question is um, more technical, and uh, so we'll get into the uh, techniques of uh, that refers to the question today. And so today's question uh, is, uh, Dear Dr. Turpo, I'm a brother that just can't last that long in bed. Um, what should I do? Okay, so... Uh, premature ejaculation is what this um, subscriber is referring to. So let's talk a little bit about techniques of how to deal with uh, premature ejaculation. Uh, basically, there's four different uh, techniques that I try to get people to use uh, to try to improve their situation. And you can try the different ones, see what works for you. Uh, so let's, let's name them. We'll start with the first technique, um, which is uh, probably the most popular one where most people talk about and most of my colleagues will refer people to, to do. And that is the squeeze technique, the squeeze method. And basically what that is, before ejaculation, uh, you squeeze the base of the penis just to make sure, the base of your shaft, just to make sure that you don't have an orgasm. Uh, apparently a lot of people find success with this one. Uh, however, sometimes it can be frustrating uh, for others. So. Uh, try that. That is um, actually the most popular uh, method that most people uh, recommend that, that you use. Now the next method that, um, that I promote the people to try is to masturbate before having sex. This is also a real popular one for a lot of people. Uh, it requires you to be um, kind, of, uh, kind of be able to predict when you're going to have sex and so uh, now that time that you Basically, what you're doing is you're kind of, um, if there was a movie, something about Mary that uh, I think it was talking about clean your uh, pipes before you go out on a date. And uh, basically, the logic behind that is that if you can get that release before you interact with females, uh, you'll be much cooler, you'll be calmer, and you, you won't act all desperate when you're around women. So it's the same basic theory uh, when it comes to premature ejaculation. A lot of times when people are having pre when men are having premature ejaculation, it's because they're so excited that they're having sex. <laughs> so they just don't know what to do. They're about to literally blow. And so, uh, so what we need to do with this technique is to actually just go ahead and blow uh, before uh, you have sex. And so maybe about an hour before you're having sex or some time period before you're getting ready to encounter um, uh, the female that you're about to have uh, sexual intercourse with. So uh, now that time period before can be variant de depending on uh, when you're going to have sex with that female. And depending on um, uh, the different persons, different people have different ways. You have to, the best way to figure out the time period before having sex is to experiment and try different things because it can be uh, different for different people. One of the things, major factors that can cause a difference is your age. Now with young people, an hour before will be enough time to do that. But a lot of times, as there's been some uh, people that state that the older that you get, you might want to try uh, masturbating uh, a longer period before. Um, say maybe the morning of, or uh, the night before, or a whole day before, 24 hours before, you think you're going to have sex and the reason that is because if um, if you masturbate an hour before and if you're of an older age uh, one of the risks is that uh, you don't have that sexual energy built up again you know in an hour uh, it may take you a whole day to have some sexual energy built up to be able to even perform sexually so for instance if an older guy does it um, an hour before he may not have any Oomph or, or juice or just energy to be able to perform sexually an hour later. And so now you've done the other thing. Rather than preventing premature ejaculation, now you can't even perform, which it looks, looks like a erectile dysfunction. So you need to experiment with this one to see uh, what would be the best time period for you to um, be able to, for you to not be too excited, but also that you still want to be excited enough. So experiment any, anywhere from an hour before to sometimes even a day before just to be able to get that right balance for uh, your sexual performance. So that uh, tends to be successful with a lot of people. Uh, the third uh, method um, is uh, what they call tactile stimulation. Um, 
basically is that you're going to retrain uh, yourself as far as sexual stimulation. And it requires you getting really in touch with your body. Um, and basically what this is on a daily basis, um, you're going to uh, masturbate, but you will masturbate not with a visual stimulation like uh, a lot of people in this day and age tend to do. Um, and if, because if you're doing it with visual stimulation, what a lot of people do through pornography and that type of thing, if you're if you're providing that type of stimulation, it tends to um, not you're not in touch so much with your body as much as your visual stimulation. But tactile stimulation is where you actually masturbate for about 20 minutes or so um, on a daily basis, and you try to make yourself um, last for 20 minutes. And what you're doing is you're training your body, and you're getting in touch with your body. And it's not based on visual stimulation, it's based on sensation. And when you do that, uh, there have been people to find that this is a productive method to actually train you to be more in touch with the sensations um, during sex, and so you can actually control it better uh, if on a daily basis, train yourself. But you cannot train do this training visually. You have to do this training um, uh, through tactile stimulation, meaning touch, the sense of touch versus visual stimulation. Okay, um, one of the it's proven to work for a lot of people, but one of the downfalls is uh, you have to have find time to be able <laughs> to do that on a daily basis, and the energy and and what have you. So everything has its uh, pros and cons. So you just have to again try the ones that are best for you. And then the last one would be. Uh, just to basically, uh, when you feel like you're getting ready to come um, to an orgasm or to, um, to ejaculate during sex, just stop. Stop what you're doing and then just uh, focus on your pleasing your partner without stimulating your penis. And so if you just focus on different ways that you can please your partner, so basically be unselfish. Please them. Whenever you feel like that sensation is getting ready to come, stop what you're doing. Uh, you know, withdrawal, what have you, and just focus on pleasing your partner and not uh, penile stimulation. So just um, uh, focus on them. Make them feel good without making yourself feel good. After a couple of minutes, minute or two, once you've got understood that, okay, I'm back to, um, I can, I've calmed down, I can go back to doing what I'm doing, then you can go back again. And so basically you're giving yourself like breaks within uh, the sexual interaction period. So this is another a form of just being in touch with your body. And basically, when you do the tactile stimulation, it'll help you get more in touch with your body. Um, and so you'll be m much more sensitive and aware about how to control these sensations. So uh, those are the four basic methods that people um, uh, tend to use and that I tend to recommend to people. So um, it's good information. Today was a, a te technique, uh, <laughs> a technique type uh, question, so we just went straight to it and um, have at it, try these different things, practice, find out what's just right for you because it's different uh, things, techniques work for different people. And so just try different things and, and see what works. So I hope that was helpful. Now on to you, uh, subscribe it, but to other people watching this video. All right, thank you much. Uh, thank you all very much for uh, watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, check out my website at blackwelldoctor.com. Thank you very much. Harmonious wishes. Bye.